Hey guys, so this is going to be a video talking specifically about um, Martial Poise, uh, your passive. So, Martial Poise is a unique ability to the game. There are not really any other abilities I can think of that are similar to Martial Poise. So, what happens um, when you cast Martial Poise, I guess we can talk about the ability first, right? Um, so, your auto attacks can't be cancelled. Um, they miss if your target leaves vision, um, which is really annoying because if someone's very good at this, um, you know, they can walk in and out of brush and make your autos miss, which can make you, like, get destroyed in trades, which is pretty frustrating. Um, this is the primary reason why, uh, Vayne destroys you so hard as a counterpick because, uh, she can go invisible while she's all inning you, which is quite annoying because, you know, Vayne runs at you and, you know, she gets the first auto attack, right? And then you respond with an auto. So you're one for one. She autos you the second time. You look to auto her the second time. She tumbles invisibly. And then, you know, your second auto misses. And then she comes out of stealth and autos you for her third proc of silver bolts with a tumble. And, you know, you've just gotten destroyed. Because you took a, a ton of flat damage and you've only auto attacked her once. Uh, so your rend isn't really going to do much at this point. Um, so they miss if, you're if you lose vision. Uh, and then they deal 90% of her total AD. Uh, these other two factors, um, the canceling and the vision, uh, are essential. They kind of have to be there um, for your champion to work. Um, the 90% AD ratio that exists on your champion is just a nerf to Callista. Feels bad, man. Um, so the cannot be canceled portion is the unique aspect of this passive. So when you use martial poise, like so, you're effectively casting a channel, which means it's interruptible by other things that are happening. So when you use this channel ability, um, the same thing works with this uh, as when you use triple rend or when you use double rend, uh, you're able to cancel martial poise with an ability. Um, this is essential for your character to work. This is why it has to be a channel ability for your character to work. Because uh, if it were coded differently, uh, you wouldn't be able to use, like, summoner spells or anything when you were in midair, which obviously we know we can. Uh, this is why you're... No, this is a fundamental mechanic of the champion, that you're able to use abilities while you're jumping. Um, and it's how you get some of these mechanics put together. Uh, otherwise, you, like, you know, like, you wouldn't be able to use summoner spells. Like, you wouldn't be able, be able to flash unless you were, like, landed. So you'd have to, like, use martial poise and then hit S to stand still in order to flash. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously we know we can flash mid-jump, we can interrupt these channels um, with other abilities. Uh, this is the primary reason why you're not able to use an attack speed past a certain amount. Uh, it's around, like, 2-3, maybe 2-3-5. Um, having, like, 3.5 attack speed on Callista is garbage. This is why on-hits, on-hit builds are really bad on her. Um... The reason why you're not able to use it is because these channels start to interact with each other in really funky ways when you get to this high of an attack speed. Um, as I'm sure if any of you have tried uh, to get a really high attack speed number on Callista, it doesn't really work past a certain amount. Um, when you get when you hit this point, um, the channels start to overlap with each other, um, and they don't get cancelled properly, so then you sometimes you'll double hop, sometimes you won't be able to hop, sometimes you'll auto attack and then another auto attack will like fly out from your champion without a channel happening at all um you, like you didn't cast martial poise so you like auto and then when i'm in midair another auto would come out it's like really funky um so then to compensate this you're just not able to use martial poise at that high of an attack speed most of the time um anyway so what I'm going to talk about in this video as the primary mechanic is the um, ability to use Pierce as a cancellation of Martial Poise. So um, you're going to interrupt a channel with a channel. Uh, the same way as you know interrupting Pierce with Rend, you're interrupting a channel with another ability. So what happens when you do this is you're kind of able to double hop um, with your passive Martial Poise. Uh, and you, you like use a cast, and then when you're mid-cast of Martial Poise, um, you're able to use Pierce as another cast of Martial Poise. 
this is harder to do, uh, and it's a much more nuanced mechanic, and you have to have a very good feel for your current attack speed and your champion um, to use it well. Uh, but it can be very punishing, and it can be very useful. Um, say, you know, I had this uh, this target right here. If this is like a minion or something, and this, this rend were to be lethal, then I could like use my martial poise and then cancel my martial poise with Q like this, and I'm able to close a large amount of distance um, this way. So again, if you think you're casting and then, you know, canceling with another jump um, in this opposite direction. So again, just one more time, you're using martial poise like so, canceling martial poise, and then, you know, you can cast another ability off of your cancel. Um, you could cast Rend, canceling your Pierce, or you could cast um, just Pierce. You don't have to use Rend. Uh, but that's one of the primary ways you can use it. So I'm going to jump to a clip um, from a game and show you guys um, one of the many ways this mechanic can be used. All right, so as you can see here, um, this is going to be the mechanic usage of uh, Martial Poise being canceled by another ability um, as one of the unique ways that you can use your passive Martial Poise. So I walk up here, get a stack of Rend on the target that I'm looking to harass, then I auto-attack a minion, need one more auto-attack for this Rend to be lethal on the minion, and then I plan on canceling my Martial Poise with a cast of Pierce. So I Martial Poise forward again, and then cancel Martial Poise with Pierce and cast Rend uh, at the same time. So it looks just like this. Just like that, so you can see there's kind of a double hop. Just like that, cast rend, and you still have rend, and you're able to use this um, as a way to essentially form an all in on your opponent in early levels. Just like so. Um, so, this combination can be used obviously um, in other ways. It can be, you know, essential to use a double hop. Um, to get over terrain, uh, you know, you can hop to get right next to the wall, and then you can use your second jump to actually get over said wall, uh, just to make the jump a little easier for yourself. Uh, I'll be doing more videos on this, obviously, uh, in the future, but that's the one concept I wanted to talk about for you guys today. Uh, if you like the video, uh, drop a like for me, leave a comment if there's something you want to see me talk about in the future. Um, best of luck in solo queue, uh, good luck in the new season. Uh, and have a wonderful rest of your day, guys.